Yo, that one you have for my brethren. DNR News. <laughs> Yo, I'm a general in a youth. You see me? Yo, are you me make that one up? I know. I know what I'm saying. You did I go have something for say about it. If nobody else, you for sure. <laughs> Yo. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. Wagwan people, welcome back to the channel. Dance all news and reviews. I'm boy, oh boy, Sir Q. Him drop a response to me attach him. Well, you don't know, not even real touch, just some spark, you know me I say. But he make a response and we're going to respond to that. We're going to pre that and react to that. In the meantime, people, who need for you to subscribe to the channel properly. Everybody will subscribe to the channel who no need for you to do the thing properly. Who no need for unsubscribe and resubscribe. You need even have to do that, you know, but me as if you do that because I want to know select the notification for all. You see me? When you go to the subscription, you can click the bell and select all. Or you can unsubscribe and resubscribe and select all all for the notification so you can get all notification car you see the last video me dropped about vibes cartel or king van or the real serial me see say yo youtube now show about the thing i guess at the title and the context and the names them youtube not in at that youtube now support that but it's a piece of potent content that one need for your pre and meds in a real life and because youtube censor things and suppress things in order for see all of the videos them you have to select all youtube will only send to the people and we select all you don't have to understand that and also remember we're doing the back to school giveaway hundred thousand jamaican dollars back to school giveaway in the description you can find the link click on that for all of the instruction if you want to be a part of that Ladies and gentlemen, follow the instructions and do the right thing. All right, Sir Q, <laughs> y'all laugh after me. Y'all laugh after the touch. Y'all joke out the thing. Oh my, oh my. Get along with the voices Dance, uh, inside of my head. And I don't need to Only be humble. Only you can understand. Break down walls like Jericho crumble. And that is here. It's not a normal thing. I will never, never ever fall. Bumble. Never I ever will never ever fall, never stumble You're trying to save Jericho. me, stop Rumble. holding your breath Me not go lie to me, you know. When me pray the comments, them under that video, the Jesus Christ, the man, them a master circuit, you know. The man, them say lion squad ton, pussycat squad, and be things, me, I say, judge ya. Oh, them a deal with the bad man express, now, so. Them a deal with the G rush, me, I say, ja, no, after me, they not touch a man like that. Oh, the man, them a talk, yo, the man, them a god, say, the man get page, the man look cool up, the man look shibble up, the man water dunk, the man weak out, me, I say, circuit, come on, bro. Can't yeah, make them a drag in my G. How are you do? I true, me see a month I get ready for go by. I me, me not see a chop up none of my things them. You see? I me I feel away. I me say hold on there. My thing now from there now. Now chop up my thing you know. <laughs> so not now go have my thing right you now. So all right. I got him. I got one for him, man. <laughs> you see me? Yeah. So I so me pray you know my G. <laughs> we can just tell. You see me? Kawa, I know I say yo, you know, I saw me I go come back at you. You got me, you got me laugh. Cause me say me after dead the laugh. Anytime you watch your thing about me, my friend. You see, and I just saw the thing, sir. All right, that uh, that me general. You know the thing already. In a this vlogging thing, you can't too weak out. You can't too thin skin. You have to know to defend yourself, and you have to know to laugh after yourself. You have to know say entertainment more time, and you have to just know say the muster in a go did it. Some man too sensitive in a vlogging and take it thing too personal. You see me? After me not disrespect sir Q, me not violate. You see me? We are all a talk, we are all a reasoning, and me I give my perspective on a topic and I show a man how me preach. You know mean say me right, you know. You know mean say me wrong but on my perspective people might agree people might disagree i just so we go about it you understand and sir q him now is a man where we listen but me don't want him easily programmable me don't want the g out here a bounce left or right that's why me i tell the man say meds him thoughts them properly 
And when you put out there, make sure what you put out there you can stand firm upon. Now make nobody a rebuttal you. Get all of the information. Do your research. Cause from the get go at the first issue that I find with him. When I talk about vibes cartel and certain things, I may say, but brother, you have to follow the case from the get go. You have to have the intimate knowledge in the case. Don't just a comment cause then you go wishy washy. You go say one thing and then a piece of info come out and then you find out say I never saw a thing go and you have to walk it back. You no want to have to walk back nothing it's going to make your thing look shaky. And I want to make sure say the G get a second chance and I want him to balance him second chance. So if you are going to do this YouTube thing, you are going to be held accountable. So the things where you say and do, we are going to hold you accountable. Just like we hold the artists them accountable. The government accountable. Me no care who want to get vexed, we are going to hold each other accountable. If me a folly, yo call me out. You understand? Me believe in a don't folly, you know, me not folly. But if me slip up and folly, me want the people them call me out. You see me? So my times I might get a one thing wrong. I don't even know if I'm wrong on this part, you know. I made a reference to Buju Bantan back in the day with the Rasta thing when I said he did the song Browning and the Backlash and him have to forward back and say, yo, him love him black woman them. You see me? And me I say, well, and I'm going to say, yo, do your research and ray, 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 the man never rasta back then. I'm like, but then again, you know, I'm be dread for be rasta. I mean, what go on this up? But maybe back then, Buju wasn't in the rasta thing. I am not going to go back and dig up the files and say, yo, Buju, the point is there was backlash from then. Even if he wasn't a rasta then, he still got the backlash back then. So even if he was a ballad, the backlash was still there. Imagine that even more potently, a ballad man I get called out for singing a song about browning. You see me and then I have to walk it back and sing song and big up black woman. Come on now man. I remember something I did a speculate pan about PJ Patterson and um, one of them liar there with the pan cartel them case or whatever the case is. And I thought when the reference was made but then the people them correct me and tell me say no Julian Silvera wife a PJ Patterson goddaughter. Alright noted. You see me I was speculating. I don't know but them correct me. Okay, lock that in. Another thing when me did that speculate pan, nobody not correct me, but me go ask some questions now and deal from my dream podcast, Alka Vlogs, fill me in and I make me know how the thing break down. Because Justice Marva McDonald's was no, you know, endorsed, you know, sworn in as the president. But me I get for understand, say no, she had the president and the highest judge for the appeal court process. Me I say, okay, that different from Justice Sykes, who are the head judge for the criminal side. You understand me, the criminal courts and stuff like that. So, okay, that balance out now. Come here, say, hold on, she a Replace Judge Sykes, the moment me know say no, she not nah replace Judge Sykes. Judge Sykes still did the come here say hold on. The man and I go step down. That would have mean say them a push him out. So them clarify and make me know what I go on for what I go on, people. Me not afraid for talk it. If me make a mistake, if me not know something, me not afraid for ask questions. Me not afraid for ask. And if me not know, me I go tell you say me not know. Well yo, I'm a real thing, my friend. Now watch nothing. Now watch none of them things. I want me to watch none of them things. Eh? Especially come from somebody like you now, you understand? If I maybe if I did somebody else, I try to check them, I'm jumping at them, them, them head side. But, you know, me understand it. Me understand your thing, my friend. So, me know what you think, my friend. Dear now you, dig up your bomb beat self, my G. Yeah, man, but watch your door. All right, you know, see that and hear that all the masses know this. There is no animosity between me and Sir Q. You see me, if you make a video, I'm a rebut it and nothing personal and no disrespecting. Even if we disagree upon a topic, there is no disrespect in anything. You see me, you know that go already. Remember, I'm a Yankee in a sense, you know. I'm a bit of a Yankee too. We can't go around it. When you spend 20 plus years in the United States of America, especially for me who grew up in a Brooklyn, you know that go already. I saw <laughs> I saw someone comment that I have that New York Yankee accent and I was like, oh man, damn blood. Yo, you know what time it is, fam? I'm, I'm, I mean, I'm a New Yorker. You already know, son. But yeah, I try to keep it clean on the channel so I ain't even going down that road. So I see Sir Q more time he be on that, but... Nah, blood, like, chill, you know what I'm saying? 
But yeah, I am a New Yorker, Flatbush, Brooklyn, school, high school and them thing there, a New York college and them thing there, New York. So in the streets, grew up in the streets of New York, from early, from a job in a New York, the thing really in the field, the last Mohegans. So some people might know, some people don't know. If you know my history, you know the thing already. We're not, we're not scared, never scared, bone crusher settings. You see what I say? When you look down the barrel of a gun, a man I tell you, say, if you any up, you say, yo, what? Boy, you better get out of here. You know what time it is. We ain't even about that life. You ain't taking my pride. You know what I'm saying? I remember a dude ran up on me, strap, you know what I'm saying, with his Glock 40. You know what I mean? Dude, had, yo, it's crazy. He had it in his waist, right? No, I got I to gotta speak Jamaican so y'all understand me, right? So, own boy had the gun in his waist. No, I'm still kind of yanking. So, the boy have the gun in him waist. You see me? And the man, the man forward, brother, and I, I take my chain them off of my neck. Like the man even take out the gun and point it and say, yo, give me where you have the man. The man I take off my chain off of my neck without even show him gun. Oh, me ease him off now, him back it out and cock it back and one fly out of the head. And me and say, yeah, that you do. You see right there, so now me dark out, you know, people. It no matter no more, cause my pride, the boy come for, you know. Imagine the man I try to rob me with him gun in his waist. The boy disrespectful. You see, if me the dog know what I go on from the get go, come and slow for real, come and push him off, come and look to my other dog, and I say, You know him? I say, Car, you see, because we grew up in the streets of Brooklyn and we play with each other like that, some jokes like, Yo, we walk up to, to our own and like, Yo, what up, son? Yeah, 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 like it's a rap. Like we play them kind of. We walk up to each other, was, was cracking, yo, was good, son. You would what up? Who you? Yeah, yeah, what up, man? Like, you know, but we just playing around. And especially if it's dudes that we're with that don't know we know each other. Yeah, like it can get it can get yo, know, it get crazy like that. You feel me? So I ain't even know if it's somebody I know was playing. So when I pushed them off, they was like, now nah, you know, I was like, you know, you, like now nah, we don't know this dude. So then him cock it back on Ray, you see me in Birch, and I said, shoot that, shoot him, shoot him, shoot him. I'm like, what? I'm like, yo, you ain't getting nothing. I mean, I brought yo, me tell him on some. S.Y.M. Yo, me I go hard in you know, a dark out in you know, people. But me give him about, about 10 feet between me and him. Because, yo, hey, he already have one at the head already, you know. So we know said the thing active, you know. But, yo, this was in this was in Lower Manhattan down by Canal Street. We just came from the club. It was like in the wee hours of the morning. So if you know Manhattan, you know it's a camera there everywhere. From stoplight, every local corner, every store have camera. Cameras are everywhere, you see me? Plus, as me say, I know the morning, you know, New York never sleeps, so people outside same way. So when him bridge, I tell himself to shoot me. Me, I made up the thing now and I say, all right, how me I going to get out of this? So me, I make him know, say, he, he put you see, you know what I'm saying? He ain't, no, he ain't about that life, you ain't about to do nothing, yo. But but I'm not saying it like this, I'm saying it, yo, like, a true, you don't know. A, me, I go hard, but me can't, upon the platform, me can't express it. Like, yo, me, I go hard. I me make him know, say, my, this and my, that and my, hey, boy, you see me? You, you, you can't do nothing and me I violate him certain way because you don't know we can't do half up. But at the same time, me I tell him, say, yeah, all these street lights around all these people, you ain't about that life, boy, what you gonna do? You gonna go to prison for some, what, what, what? You, you ain't about that, you know what I'm saying? So when him look up now and him see, see people look and him, him I think about it now, the boy start to waver. Me see say, man, at weak. The boy talk. The boy talk and run. Him and the bridging start run now. And my bridging them start run him down. And yo, it's crazy, yo, it's crazy. I didn't run after them. I'm like, when I run after, you see, say the man have loaded gun. Where I run after the man for? Like, what would I do? You know what I'm saying? One of my dogs, I said, I thought you said it was fake. I'm like, no, I didn't say that. <laughs> what is wrong with you? I had a bullet in my hand. I'm like, Phil, dog, this look fake to you. What is wrong with you? You ain't see the man cocky back and the bullet flew out? What is wrong with you? Why you running after a man with a loaded gun? What if I'm the bossy pound? Jeez. Anyhow, long story short, yo, I'm from the streets. You know what I'm saying? Live that life. Been there. Man, I'm not criminal, but when you grew up and you go to school certain places, and you have to outside every day. We are fight. We are getting a fight every day. Every day. It was a war. You know what I'm saying? Against the Crips. Against the Bloods. Against other Caribbean islands. Yo, it was real, man. As Jamaicans, from school days, it real. If you can't fight, you are going to get beat up. If you're not about that life, you have to learn to be about that life. You can't go to park or Brooklyn and go play basketball. The next thing you cross over, I'm on your score. And I'm on a man want to beat you up. So it's real. So when you know, you know. If you don't know, then you don't know. The reason I put out that 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 one that I one that's still for you. <laughs> I'm not telling that one that's for you, my G. Right? But Bojo and Sizzler 
and the rest of the artists them is this you know right as me I preach from me come out the one thing me certain you can pick out say me consistent with is second chance and forgiveness you understand yeah why because I've been granted many chances many chances we all make mistakes none of us infallible you understand stick up in right there so circuit if you watch my full video you would hear me address that point right there you can't be a judge i pointed it out you cannot be a judge because you have been through certain things you have done certain things so you always have to allow for forgiveness because you have gotten second chances and stuff like that i pointed it out so you can't up and sit down with them and i want to give them second chance and you know what you've been through no that can't work that's why i say it have to be law abiding citizens people who never go down certain road who never get caught up at them the people they can't judge a person that's been through a certain lifestyle them can't judge them have to allow other people to make them own mistakes and you don't know try to guide them you can't try to guide the youths them but you can't judge the youths them because you did all they did you did a mad head you did out there do the thing them you did want the fame you did want the money you did in the badness in the root tight so you can't judge people you understand that's why me keep the thing on a level no fight time people are say yo the artist them are in out that's why me keep the thing on a level sometimes we are say this and we are say that but me break it down and show people the other side to it when you get into the entertainment business as an artist or you set up a business in a jamaica as a regular person even if you don't want pre-badness some of the time you have a pre-badness because extortion did it gangs did it people are look to you you automatically become a done because you look out for the youths them you have to arm up now because guess what if you not arm up yourself, another person might run up on you. You have to protect yourself. But when me try to tell you them to do, do it legally. Get your license gun, stay out of trouble, pay for proper security. A them thing there. Me not tell you say yo no guard up, you know. Because a dangerous world we live in. Uh. But I have been there. I have been in the street, armed up, strapped up. I know all about it. Big Mac 11. I know all about them thing. The 357. Me know them thing. The Tech 9. Me know them thing. The in the street. Me know about every day strap in the street. But guess what? Me get lucky and get out a certain lifestyle. and never got caught up. You know what? Man, me roll with way that dead or that prison. Me know them thing, the people. So, me now nah judge you, them for choose badness, me I try to guide them away from it and make them know, say, listen, I know good thing, and the artists, them need to do the right thing and try to guide the youth them properly. Because, you see, the face of badness oftentimes is very alluring, and the youths, them don't know the darker side. And then again, so my time, them now nah meds deep. Just pray this, people. One little thing I want to pray, and for sure, it's enough man to pray things deep. All right, at the age of 35 year old, right, the life expectancy our 80 year old right 80 if you are 35 and you are priest boy you know me even care if me live or die right 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 this or that 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 but meds this if you add 35 more upon 35 or 70 that means eh, at the age of 70 you still have 10 more years for the life expectancy what if you live to be a hundred so at the age of 35 you don't even do nothing you still have another 65 years to go and remember and if you're pretty thing we don't start live really and truly until we kind of get up there in the teenage years and 20s and stuff like that so if even if you start at the age of 10 then 10 to 35 really and truly that would have been 25 years of you know adult like yeah live but me know say no, nobody i guess some people extreme circumstances where people go out from them a little youth 9 10 11 year old them they on them own but for the most part the average youth they really start go through certain things until them are 17 18 year old and stuff like that so by then let's say me, me give you 15 so 15 plus 20 or 35 so 20 years you would then out there live Remember, you still have a whole heap of years to live far more than where you live already. So when me hear a lot teenager or a little 20 year the old youth at all, boy, yo, anything or anything, you know, dog, if me did or so, if me go to prison or so, and I'm like, what? 
What are you talking about? 15 years still time for you. Time to bet and time to lose. 15 years never a wish better than this when you have a 100 years to live. Remember that. 100 years. Type that tune in on YouTube and go meds that. Enough time you don't think you don't have so much years to live. But then you don't have pre because you don't go through a rough patch. As a man, we born for, we, we, we born for go through the roughness. You understand me? And as man, we don't really forge, we don't really come to fruition until we later years them. So remember, man, we are like diamond in the rough. So you have to remember, say, we have to get polished up, we have to go through certain things, we build ourselves. And more time, when we in our 30s, 40s, 50s, we really find ourselves. So if you, as a youth, as a man, you don't start, live really and truly, you don't start, make yourself. You have to wait, judge of God. So when me hear all some youth at age of 20 and 18, 19, them age they are tabo, them live life already and them been through this and them been through that. And I say, but who no start live yet? Who no, no start live yet? Who no go through nothing yet? You don't even know the value of life yet. You understand? People. Nowadays, me hear people are say, yo, having family and them thing, yeah, having a youth, them, that's life, that's life. Jesus Christ. For me, a little pitney. From me a little youth, from as long as me have, um, um, from a sentient, from a self-aware. From them time, the people, me know the value of life. From me a little bit, me never grew with no father. You understand? And my mother did that for a granny and uncle and auntie me grow with. And from me a little bit, me understand the value of life. And me say, me want pitney. Me want youth. My greatest achievement in a life of you have pitney. Of you have my youth them. I don't care about nothing else. I just provide and protect them. You understand? A them, a family me value. I don't know about nobody else who value this, who value that. I value family. That is everything. And it's priceless to me. So when me hear some man attack, yo, me just shake me head, me just scratch me head and say, yo, Jano. And them, them all of all youths and them think that they don't even know the value of them youths. Them don't know the value of them youths. Me as someone I say, yo, Ray, 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 yo, me don't want the youths to me achieve this and me achieve that. And me I say, we are talking about having youths that can build you, that can give you purpose, motivation, for go up on the right path, for do the right thing. More time, you know, the youth, you know, nothing to live for. You don't know the value of life because you don't know. When you don't know, you don't know. Until you know, you don't know. You see me, when me get my youths, them, I when me value my mother even more. I when me pray my mother different. Because when you have your youth, them and see where your baby mother, your wife I got you, now you understand where your mother got you. Now you understand the road. Now you understand when Pitney have cool and you have to suck it out with your mouth, when you have to suck out the cool out of them nose. When Pitney have cough and a ball and you don't know what about them, when you have to get up in a middle like night and care them got emergency and them thing there, you don't know until you know, until you experience it. But that that still. Some of us tend to bear more, more of ourselves out here giving people like yourself the opportunity to have something to say about it you know so far from watching your thing Maji you know um, even though I know you've been doing the thing so if anything did for say about you it would have been done said you see Maji you see but you don't bear yourself out there on those type of angles you see me you just comment on where you sip on them things and you you know hate that you move on nah bro i've been out here man i've been chewed up i've been spit out boy i've been betrayed i've been stabbed in the back from the get-go i've tried helping youths i've tried helping artists i've been betrayed i've been treated people sing about my kids bro when when a dude sing when you try to help an artist and people whisper in them ears and tell him some foolish. And the man this yo, I'll make song about your baby. Two year old daughter say, them are going to wait till she's 18 and them are young, grey pan them. Bro, when, when you've been through what I've been through, <laughs> you understand. When people set up your family, give out all your business address and I send man for come kill you. When, when people, yo, you know, I've been there, dog. I've been there. I've been through it all. You know what I'm saying? They don't call me vlogger god for no reason. I have been out here. My face been shown from the first day I vlog. You know what I mean? So guess what? I've been through it all. I put art and soul everything out there. And at the end of the day, it is what it is. So that is why I move how I move. Because I move because of experience. So I can tell people how it is because I've been down that path. The road you walk, I've been down there back. I've been down there again and again, time and time. Like, yo, it's, it's, it's insane, bro. Me try vlogging time and time, different way, every type of vlogging. And I have quit. And I've got up. I've picked it up. Drop it again. Pick it back up. Quit. You know how much time I quit? 
But every time a me come back and revolutionize the vlogging. Every time I quit, I me forward again and revolutionize the vlogging. Change up a game, new rules. I saw we got to work, you understand? And here in 2024, January 1st, 2024, I made a declaration for take the vlogging thing serious. And I saw you have them new channel, your DNR and all them channel where me, where me go hard and I put out the work. Because I made a promise. The man them say, me loyal to hungry. Years and years of vlogging and you know, have nothing for sure for it. And I say, all right. All right, say less, say no more. Ball game. You understand? Yeah, but man like me now, my style now, I would tend to put more of myself out there, you know, open me up to scrutiny. You see? Knowing and understand that, you know, I accept that knowing that's what them things there is about. So I don't feel... No way when people like you, people with sense, do it and, you see, set it them weird in a positive way. Still. But, as me say. When me say me forward and revolutionize vlogging again, for dance hall, the dance hall, entertainment sector, Jamaicans, meds it. Look at this. We're going back and forth, video vlogs. Countering each other, rebuttling each other. Without violence, without negativity, without it. Reasoning, you understand, hearing out each other's perspective and able to articulate and communicate and let the, the world be able to judge and listen and hear we are talk and show them, say, watch out, even if we disagree upon a topic, we can hold a potent reason and we can go and build the thing and give the people them education and entertainment. You see, value, meds that, no man, meds that. Them thing I may talk about, revolutionize the thing. You may look be looking at the thing like me a backtrack somebody page me and this and that and you know me a, me a go against what me I say about them you man and you know them principles right and while it may appear like that no it is not as I clearly stated my friend I just happened to pan this thing and I happened for taking Bojo on stage and do him thing. Member good, you know, me explain all of this in the video, you know, and acknowledge all the way I say, you know. So even when you rebut me right now, more, you know, say me acknowledge all of these things. Nothing wrong with you watching Bojo performance and feel how we feel great and, you know, feel that elation. Nothing wrong with that. Feeling proud of Bojo and seeing his redemption. Nothing wrong with that. Me point out that. However, me not see them man here apologize for nothing. So you not supposed to apologize either. The things what them do, them not apologize for. Them not apologize to we. So, so we as the fans who look on them in a certain light and listen to their music religiously and, and, and thing and then them go do what them do and them not apologize. Them not apologize for the things what them do. Think about that. So if you make a pre and make a statement, you shouldn't have to walk it back. You're not supposed to afraid of no boy or no girl or any fan. You're supposed to talk it like it is as long as you stand firm and believe in the way you say. Walking it back simply means that you never thought it fully. You never think about it, process it fully. So you end up saying stuff and then you have to walk it back. And I'm saying, meds the thing before you put it out there. Watch it back. Think deeply. Don't just say. Just know say you're serious about what you put out. So you know for walk it back. That's all, you know. I don't tell you say you know if you think what you think, you know. I'm just saying to be more firm in your stance. And I did not agree with one of his song selection. Driver, same song them use in evidence for sending him go to jail. And we kind of understand what that song was about and what he was involved in. And we against those things especially from a person like Bojo, you understand? And Sizzler and them man there. For where them I preach. We said all of those, we said all of those, right? Let's keep in mind them on a machine, they're humans, they make mistakes. Or they would do things that we may deem mistakes. We don't know, it could all be in God's plan. On oh God, that's facts. Them are human beings, them are a machine. And we all make mistakes, you see me? So I know the redemption arc. I know the redemption story. 
And me not nah tell you say, if you not believe in the man, the man want to give them second chances, man. Me, me know what you say. I'm understand all of that. And that's why I explain everything in the video. Because I don't talk for talk sake. I balance the scale from both sides. For them to trot them road that they might trot. Still and all. You see me? So, how me view the thing now? They met the mistake. The whole will come out. Pooping at them head over it. But life still goes on. Them never dead. Booping at them head never kill them. You see me? Life goes on for them. They still moving. They still are tried to. Still doing what they doing. Right? And now when I looked at Bojo on stage, I'm just telling you my experience. An energy hit me. Seeing him with that big bright smile as a Jamaican on stage representing Jamaica at that moment in time I did not see Lou or looseness you see me I did not hear it other than the driver's song and the message that he gave out to the youths he was on a platform where he was able to reach more people and more people hear the message and possibly pass it on I'm saying to myself nothing wrong can't be nothing wrong with that can't be nothing wrong with that all right all right you see and hear that lion squad sir q if you want to watch the full response when put out head over to him channel lion squad tv yeah man do the right thing people that is it that is it blessings and respect to everybody sir q big up yourself you see me me now go watch out the full thing yes so because you know i hope me know i hope nothing else no did it for me respond to you know guys a long video you know me know uh, yeah but then again i'm more content if something pop up if me watch the rest of this and something else pop up on me need for re but me just make another video that is it so love and respect people i understand the man feel a joy if he say buju out there and as the man say it might just be a part of god's plan forgive their money a platform and maybe who knows buju has speak to enough people out there maybe where my push i gonna resonate with more people and you know push reggae music and the culture in a positive light and bring his redemption story full circle so buju go on the way i do but me me i go go on so we may say until me see the full redemption i'm a whole my stance these guys their morals and them levels it's all cap to me it's all for the bread it's all for the fame I ain't looking at them as no savior. I ain't looking at them as nothing more than a goddamn artist trying to eat food. And that's that. You know what I'm saying? Big up to everybody we are watching right now. Drop on the views in the comments. Love and respect. And the Vulture I talk to, you no know, captain of the Vulture squad. Urk!